<laughs> see people, people, ready right up on the phone and tell me one bag of thing I make me late for my life. I joke this. <laughs> Yeah man, you respect a man as well, right? People are red rat me I talk to, I make me late, see it a red rat, I even finish <laughs> Me I start a pre-reason, pre-reason with the red rat before the reason start <laughs> You don't know brother, you don't know, yeah, wait, yeah, yo, I'm a noobs dog, you know what I mean really Big time people, big time, big up red rat, run the castle Turn to Ira, ready, ready, turn to Ira, ready, long time, of a pistol People Red Rat called me and catch me and I'm reasoning. I said, Red Rat, you're 30, I'm starting, I'm not playing a song or nothing yet. I look on the clock, I said, I said, Red Rat, I said, serious. Red Rat reasoning, I some different reasoning to the people. Big up Red Rat. So I said, Big up Pascal, because you don't know our thing go already. Good night, good night once again. Welcome to Live Shreps. I'm there <clears throat> Still getting over this um, sinusitis thing here where I beat my body out. I've been suffering hard from it, but you know the work has to go on. Big up to the people. What about Corey? Criminal quarry, big up the Cayman family, my Jamaican Cayman family. So me I said the thing go already. My criminal mechanic. I don't know you know fix my AC dog. Low my dog. <laughs> See it? So people, we have the legendary turn to Irie tonight. Hope I reason. And I'm very excited about this because like the money, some of the money, the real pioneer of the dancehall game. When dancehall turned digital, this is the first man for Dan for DJ on a digital dancehall song. Second man for um, record pan um Slim Thing, the first person that recorded on the Slim Thing was um, Wayne Smith and he was a singer. So I'm the first DJ for record on a digital dance already. So I said people, and I have a couple of the songs that I'm going to drop before we kick everything in our gear. I hope everybody ready. Remember, listen to me. Anything that you have to do, do it now. Alright? Because listen, when the reason starts, you now go on move. The reason is your, your foot glue, your eye glue. Everything glue, you glue on your seat, you glue to everything where you do, you can't move right now. So, me I say, so people, this conversation, this reasoning, because you know, we're not the interview with the reasoning, you know, now go on, Mr. One, yeah. So, me I say, so listen, me, I'll drop some ton to Irie because the money have some classic songs up to today, and um, you guys want to stay tuned, all right? Hi, <laughs> listen, me, great, oh, Zabar, you see, <laughs> <laughs> where's the cold face? Good day, my general. Yo, it's a fun, it's a fun, uh, it's a fun night. It's a, it's a good look. I tell a lie, I can't complain. Yo, right now, me I tell you, it's a pleasure and an honor for the eye of me and the eye platform, and for know so that I still have the respect for veteran like I and I because only for people forget forget I and I. You know that, right? Tell us something. I don't know about the next generation or what is going on, but we grew up idolizing all the artists of the 80s respect we can't get it out of my head before i intro that stitchy song a while ago i reminded everybody that in this time when these songs came out visuals as far as videos were concerned was a very scarce scarce commodity at the time oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah so i can remember where your size i can remember this song as two songs that came out and we saw visuals for it right 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 and that was a huge deal. So that's still, like, I remember the song, line for line, word for word. I still have it locked back in my head. I can't remember the song then. Hold on. I can't share this video real quick. Real quick. Yeah. Because yeah. right now, I am so excited to share. Because guess what? Yo, a long time, you know, I want to bust some producer editing in a 18 piece, you know. Not physically bust it, but verbally show them under the bus. Because I do you know. And me pay my own mortgage and me pay my own bills, you know. Yeah, me now look, yo, I, I, yo, you would even like, no, yo, right now, me I come from gut level, I mean, I want, yo, you just not bother send up, you know, because I give it to some of them, you know. And that me I tell you, you know. Yes, but anyway, you yes, salute and stitch it. Eh? Yeah. I, 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 the only DJ I made it free that when me a DJ, when me, when me, when me, when me burn up the place, so, you know, me tell the sound man. When we used to work for at the time, Black Star, me said, no, yeah. no, date. Stitch it with, uh, stitch it with, what's he in Them man, they, yo, me tell you something. De, when them, when them man, they have them little, I ain't you know, them gang, you know, different something, you know. You never know. Looting and stitch it. Yo, we are terrible, Papa. Are we are terrible. Yeah, me never afraid of son. Me never afraid of none of them. Stitch it. Me did fear, stitch it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a brother, you know. 
Yeah, one of my brother, man, and him, yeah, yeah, man, but, you know, it's a joy, it's a joy to the year, though, you know, to share some of the, the original thing, you know, and, again, thanks for having me on the platform, you know? No, thanks for, thanks for us agreeing for the cause, as I said, I know you for over the years now, I haven't seen you for a while, and then I saw you come up on the Instagram live, and I'm like, I'm not saying, but, Tanto Irie, so I was wondering to myself, is that the Tanto Irie, because, what's going on right now, you know? A lot of people, this generation, a lot of people jacking people's names. You say a man use your name now and people say use people's names. It's not like back in the days, a man, a man say, I read the artist there, so I'm going to use either piece of him first name or piece of him last name. Yeah, right. Now, if some man want to take your whole name, like, I... <laughs> yeah, which is right, which is right. So, yeah, yeah. so sometimes when you see a man name come on life, I say, when is... because when I saw Stitchy a while ago, I was just like, is that D? Looting and Stitchy, I wanted to make sure first before I right, said right, anything right. else. Yeah, because right. you know, some man just jumping at some people name and nobody else where you, you can't believe it. So people some right. brave like so no no that legend they never jump on the name. Sure, sure, sure. So all right, let me see where I start from. All right, the first thing what I've always listened because listen to the the um the artists them growing up, the 80s artists them. Right. They used to say first thing first, they used to say the 80s artists them rhymes were ABC rhymes. The vocabs weren't big and was not broad vocab. People used to say it was simple lyrics. Up to now, people used to say it. Right. But there, there was still a handful of artists. Once you listen to them songs, you know that they had broad vocab. The right. lyrics span, and they have lyrics. They never run out of lyrics. It wasn't like a eight. But it's not like no way I'm going to say, all right, you have to eight structure bar, your songs. Four, chorus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, eight bar chorus, eight right. bar verse, or right. 12 bar verse, and go back to the chorus. Right. You guys wasn't bar counting then. You guys had lyrics for the sometimes sixteen bar, sometimes a eighteen bar on the verse, sometimes a four bar and I sing the chorus for when you start back the verse for eight for eight sometime and go back on a piece of the chorus. Sometimes so, unlimited bars. Unlimited bars. So I want to start why I said this now. As I said, there's a handful of artists that you definitely want by listening to them, you know that their vocal were very good. And I know schooling in the old days was like kinda of rough. Right, but right, right, you right. are one of the artists them when you listen to your reasoning, listen to the lyrics them, you realize that you even said in one of the songs I was playing earlier, you said hot like dry like the Sahara. Right. And just by saying that at the time when you said it, right. I know a lot of people probably didn't know what that was. So yeah, 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 it's yeah. obvious that your vocab were of a broad spectrum. Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. It was okay. No, but at the time the certain things that was said. People wasn't rhyming ear, dear, and near, and spar, and, and par, and war. People wasn't going out wide. It was like looting and stitchy. It was a papa son. It was a you. It was a handful of people that you could hear the vocab. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Vocab. right, right. So let me start off by asking you where are you originate from? What area you grew up from, grew up in, and stuff like that? I uh, hear this now. You know, um, I was born in St. Mary, you know. I was born in St. Mary, but. You know, um, my mother, my mother, my mother told me that I, I, uh, she took me from Saint Mary when I was one year and six months. Yeah, so at one year and six months, I knew nothing about Saint Mary. So, um, she brought me to Jonestown, and mm. from Jonestown to Jungle, yeah, which is it wasn't Jungle back then; it was Trenchtown. Yeah, yeah. Um, I moved from Trenchtown when I was like 11 years old, yeah, to Augustown, yeah. mm. to Augustown. So that's where I reside until, you know, I start my career and then migrate to the state. So, you know. All right, so like for school, like what high school or which primary school you went to? You know, so, um, I went to Augustown Primary School and then mm -hmm. I went to Papine. It was a secondary school then. Then I went to Papine, you know, and... You know, actually, when, when I left Papi in school, you know, um, I mean, well, I mean, if I even graduated in a bridge, I left, I left in a 10th grade, you know, and... and so you just want them man to be a trouble at school? Are we at Tabo Bridge? I mean, at the troublemaker school fire, now nah, I learn nothing, Ray, Ray, Ray. Could have read and write and, and, and whatever, whatever, but me was just the clown in the class. And, 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 and once me in a class, you have a, you have a set of man where... Or I set a one where, 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 where they're on me, where, where, where we now learn nothing, Bridget. Well, I, 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 I will differ. Because, as we said, listen to the lyrics. That's why I, I don't now want to start off by what school, because 
with the reasoning I started from anywhere. But just because th that was by listening to the songs and listening to some of the, the lyrics where you had in it, I realized that yo, him like pay attention to something. Yeah, yeah, he, he was paying attention to something. But 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 yo, we was just troublemaker bridging. Just you, you, you know, you know, every, we always a disrupt the class, always a beat on the desk, a DJ, a do all kind of all kind. Yo, Bridgin, yo, yeah, hear me. But you know, with all with, with, with all that said, he, um, you know, after I left school, you know, you know, I got a job um, at JBI Jamaica Bauxite Institute. Uh, my mother got me the job, and to be honest with you, the position that I got. At Jamaica Bauxite Institute. Me never even qualify for it, but I guess because of links, yeah. So yes. you know, I started to do some evening class at Michael, at Michael, and here we go again. Never chop it off a pass through. Can't wake up a, 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 a morning. T well, well, can't wake up a evening time because you know dance for weekend and here you see me, ah, man. Be your easy and be. It's like it's like yo. It's like it was. It's like everything I did back then. It's like the music was just calling me. Just you know what I'm saying? Because you know, like I'm saying, you know, um, I, w I honestly I wanted to be a lab technician, right? Oh, that is what I wanted to do. So back then I had to have a certain amount of subject to go to. It it was a U Tech at the time. It was at it was CAS. Yeah, yeah, right. So, you know, that is what I was focusing on. But then it's like, again, through the music music business, yeah, I'm on go yeah. home and break off and just start penetrating the music business. You see me? So what age, what age you knew you want to do music? You're knocking decks at um, school and you realize uh, you like the vibe. But when you make up your mind, say, yo, I have uh, a knock this thing in your music. When I was like 17 years old. So it's not like when I was... 10, like the Beanie Man and, 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 and you understand? It was, it was when, when, when I was like 16, 17, right there. And, and, and I want, can I tell you how I started though? Can I tell you how I started? Kick it, man. Yeah, man. Yo, you know, say, um, you have a, a youth um, used to go to the dance, them in Skateland and, you know, back them is the Gemini and the Ray Symbolic and the the, you, you, you know, you know them sound that the, the jarro and the yeah, and yeah. he used to have the boombox. Them, you know those boombox, the tape. Them, saying, I know some. Um, um, my walk past the house one day, I hear my play a sassafras. This is this was the, this was oh. Black Scorpio DJ, you know, because it's a sassafras and them man, they man, they did mad one time, you know, you know, back in the days, them man, they ace DJ, them man, they mad. So me hear my ride a rhythm. Um, I can't forget the eye fashion, eye fashion rhythm. Oh, I love that rhythm. Yeah, Burner. 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 yeah right, right. Doom. Yeah, do go do go do. And him a DJ a lyrics. Yeah, him used to work at the racetrack. So most of his lyrics was consist of Jackie and racehorse and you know back then. So me hear my DJ a lyrics and do you know that I I stopped. And I went over the yard and I rewind that tape constantly, constantly until I knew that one lyrics. Watch the style now. Remember big up pleasure, P. Excuse me? Oh, that's a big up pleasure, P. I'm an R and B singer. Well, um, all right, watch the style now. Me never used to DJ at school more than so, you know. Every, every now and then you try a little thing, but yeah. I, you, you know, it was nothing that I'm focusing on, Zane. So yes. when you rewind a couple of times, rewind a couple of times, we find so when we go on my yard in at the evening, I just the, the lyrics, the lyrics, till me know it by heart, but here you want to know, me can't find the high fashion rhythm for practice that one lyrics the pun. Yeah. So here you want me to know, them did have a little bar across the road from my lane. So I go out there, you know, me find. Um, this is where in Augustown? This is in Augustown. Yeah, man, yeah, man. 13 Augustown Road. But fine, revolution rhythm. Yeah? So, me try to fit the lyrics for revolution rhythm. Me try to fit it for some other rhythm. And it work. That's how I, that, that, that is how I learned to write rhythm, you know. Listen. If oh! You listen, listen, if you listen to Tonto Irie, you know. Listen. The lyrics, back in our era, the lyrics, 
sometimes was a little off, yeah? But guess what? I learned to ride rhythm because Mr. If we can lock up on the rhythm, yeah? The lyrics yes. will come eventually. So yes. because of that one lyrics, and I practice that, that, that one lyrics and like four, five, six different rhythm and lock it. That's where it all started. True Sassafras. A lot of people used to say it's Brigadier Jerry who actually taught me to DJ. No, I would say that I learned from Sassafras. But then, after Sassafras now, then I started to, you know, look at Brigadier Jerry yeah, as a one that I look up to from uptown, and you know, it it it, it it's varies. You know, Lone Ranger, and you know, them DJ there. Yeah, I know. Bigger the original from was was up from Papi Inside as well. One yeah, he was from, he was from Inside. Tavern. Yeah, he was from Tavern. But um, boy, it's like I'm all over the globe. You know, a freestyle you know, because I have so much for sharing. You know. I have so much to share. You know, right. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. You see, you are doing the interview, you know, but no, rest, no, rest of reason. So sometimes in mind, you run past something with us. Uh, here, our, reason, our, our, so. listen, our, our, listen, what I want to listen, what I want to want, want to share with you and the viewers now. A lot of people would like, um, may, 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 may be saying, you know, but Tonto, but Tonto disappear off of the scene for a long time. Two yeah. times now. Two times yeah. as far as I know. Yeah. Uh, for, for a long time. But, 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 but check this out. I did love the music. Yeah. Music was my life. Yeah. Um, I started to tour. You know, I, 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 my, my, first, my first producer was Lloyd James, King James. Bless up yourself, King James. Yeah. And, um... When I but, 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 when I but when when I when I met Jamis, when I met Jamis, it's 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 I don't even want to go. Let let let's let's go back. Let's let's go. All back. right. Watch the back. Watch the back. Let let's right. let's let's rewind. rewind for a second. Let's let's, let's rewind. Rewind. rewind for a second. Yeah yeah yeah. For for for. for All right. Let me go. Let me go as far as you realize that you can DJ. You practice that one song. You start up on a revolution, which is a Dennis Brown record. Right right right. right. And you, you realize that you can DJ. The song, you fit the song on several different rhythms, and you realize that you still had the, you still had the capacity and still have the, the flow and energy to right. ride the rhythm properly. Yeah, so you realize that I'm gonna continue from there. But guess what? That's the only lyrics I had. That's the only lyrics I had because guess what? I didn't know how to compose. Nothing at all, right? So yeah. you used to have a little sound in August Stone. Name General. This was before the Silver Arc or whatever. This little song named General was yeah. the song that everybody as area DJ practiced on. All right. The ace DJ in August Stone back then was Bigot Balzi that used to select and Silver Arc. Big it balls, I heard yeah, of them. Them man, they used to run August Town. Them man, they as a D, used to DJ, them used to run August Town. Yeah. With a one lyrics there, and me come take with him, sure. <laughs> <laughs> See? With a so one lyrics. Big liquid slap. Yeah. Way. Yeah. With a one lyrics there. Watch the style now. Me, I have to find some more lyrics. Zane needed to have to find some more lyrics. So here we know. This is when I turned to Brigadier the General and said, here we Yo, I want to be a cultural DJ. I don't want to be a slap DJ. So listen to Brigadier and put on some of Brigadier thing and drop in a few of my lines. And you understand me? Until I start actually know how to put a few lines together. So I can build something for myself. See? Yeah. Um, when I started DJ in general, general, um, I want to tell you, you know, but kind of feel it now. August Stone start embrace I man. You see me? The people them start embrace I man. 
and 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 and, and my sister boy listen now you know say that thing I look like me can make a money or me can make a break and 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 and, and eat some food so back then you have to have a major song like a song that you're that that you're that you're you're the station dj yeah, yeah? you're the main dj for that song so and a song that you know have a name yeah so you know the the adjoining community to august town is elisa flats yeah yeah, yeah, no, elisa flats, yeah. so there was a sound system from elisa flat named black star that tiger used to dj on yeah yeah then i become the permanent dj for black star in 1981 Zane, so oh, so oh, you just so oh, you just left from a general kind of run us up and just go on a black star for a quick second. No, 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 take no. over. Hold on, uh, watch this now. Watch this now. When I go to black star, it was a youth named Danny Dread. Great Danny Dread, yeah, man. No, not not Danny Dread from Walter. I mean, there was a oh. you see, them thing in history now. You know, there was a yeah. whole lot of Danny Dread in the business back then. You know, Ooh. you had a Danny Dread from Tavern. We used to mm -hmm. sound just like Brigadier Jerry. Me and him used to go puppy in school together. Me, him, and Anthony Malvo. Zane, you have that yeah. dance red. And then you had the selector that used to select on Black Star Sound. We used to call him Danny Dread also. But the original Danny Dread is the Addis Danny Dread, the socialist roots Danny Dread. Him is the original Danny Dread. Zane. Yeah. And then you have the Danny Dread from Waltham used to DJ from Zodiac. So it was a, a whole lot of Danny Dread. But anyway, um, one night, you know, there's a uh, during the, the festive season, um, Black Star I play in a puppy in square. Mm -hmm. And you know, we go around there and anchor like that. Uh, about them time then you can't just go take up people, Mike, or a uh, move towards all some people, Mike, you know. Yeah, run them, run your way and shame me, you know. You see, worse them the no. Them don't know much about you or nothing about you. Yeah. And I ain't like a dog, you know, like when a dog, I ain't got a bone, you know, and wait until everybody move from around the sound and set to that, um, the, the selector, we change the name to Smokey then eventually and say, um, yeah, talk over the microphone. Say, I can't be here. Say, I can't do a thing. Listen, you know, so we can do a thing. Yeah? But I say, you know, sound too confident. Yeah. Me yeah. I say, me I say, me I say, me I say, me I say can, can do a thing, man. You see me? And give me the mic. Give me the microphone, Zin. And cool face from, from December. I remember vivid as day. From December 1981. Yeah? He had five nights. Five nights because it was during the festive season, yes. Christmas Eve, Christmas, Boxing Day, all our five nights. Zane, and after I put over, because I never stop DJ till them turn off the song. And I say, Yo, we have, we have five days, you know. Yo, 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 you want to come, 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 talk, talk the song for the five nights there. And I say, Yeah, man, what you mean? Fireball, listen up, five night in a row. Zane, at the first me I exercise for vice them way they watch this. So for the five night, fifty dollar the man give me for the five night. What? Ten dollar a night? Yeah. Fifty dollar. That was a, a decent pocket change in time. Oh, you right? need decent pocket feed, but rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, talking about. It's in the blue the, the blue money, the blue uh, ten dollar them. Yeah, fifty dollar. Me I said, you so when we get the fifty dollar, me I said, Jaja, fifty dollar just because DJ is it's like it was a I love it, you know, but it was like a hobby because it's like we, we weren't doing it for money, so to speak, you know. No, yeah. seriously, you know, the money was secondary. So when we get the fifty dollar now, yo, I'm back then, you know, back then, you know. One US back then was maybe for about a dollar fifty. One US back then, 1981, was maybe, I don't think it was more than two dollars. So, fifty dollar, what? Force me a DJ and get a money. Yeah, so start this up. 
fifty dollar till it moved to go right up to two hundred dollar a night. That me I tell you, yeah. And guess or not? I remember someone used to say, "Yo, but you are you have your record." You have your record. You can't just a DJ pan sound. You have your record. Watch your style now. He was a youth from Augustown of a Jungle 12 with the name Bill. Zane, top man at the place and thing. And me and him go to school and he must say, yo, you know, you know a producer at Waterhouse, you know. Me I carry go check them. This producer now, it was a dual, Marshall and Myrie. Zane, Marshall and Myrie, a lot of people know of Marshall and Myrie, but a lot of people still don't know them. Yeah? They That's why we come to class tonight. Yeah, they was the main producer for Junior Reed, Half Pint, Pad and Tony. Due to political fiction. fiction. Yeah, Sally, when your marry said, if you bring me joy, Babylon released the chain and they might use, use them. them brain. Yeah. So, they are the ones that Bill brought me to in Waterhouse. Seeing? So, them came around at jammies. And back then, they was doing live albums and, and, and stuff like that. Seeing? So, yeah. when them came around at jammies, jammies here, I'm on. Seeing? And it's the king. This is, this. let me tell you something, you know. A lot of people just don't know, you know. It's a lied James aka king jammies yo them man they have a heroes me don't know where them get it from you know no seriously no them man they when them them man they listen them man they them man they them man they are surgeon in the music business you know them man they them man they are a scientist in the music business you know no no this this no joke in a fire i am telling you the man hear me and just know say him tell Marshall to tell me to come back, come check him. Zane, and I went back and checked Jammy on my own. Yeah. Zane, and Jammy always are, you know, like how oh, some back then, you know, if you don't have no name and nobody don't know you, you can't go near Jammy's gate, you know. Yeah. You can't go near Jammy's gate. You have a youth named Mappy or Billy Bravo or Soji. Them man, they broke in our pieces. As a matter of fact, them don't even have to touch you. When them man, they go and say, yo, yo, where are you, sir? Bow from you, sir. You shame like a dog. Yeah, <laughs> but because, I think because of it was Marshall and Myrie. Two top man in our house, you see me? Who actually brought me to Jammy. And Jammy actually heard I man and, and, and figure one this, yo. A youth they have the potential to do the thing. Yeah. That is how I met Jamie and you know, go back, go check Jamie and start DJ for Jamie and start recording for Jamie. When I met Jamie, you know, Jan Jan was a well, was eleven years old. Baby G was like about eight or nine. Jam <laughs> Jam two never born yet fire. <laughs> Jam two never born yet. So last year I know. See? But um that is where I, I got that break now, you know, where start record. And actually, you know, it, it never even take me long, you know. I, I just love Black Star because I, 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 I stay about maybe like two years with Black Star. Yeah, because I say it was 81. By 83, I was at Jammies. And, you know. So, which song, which song was the first song you voice at Jammy? Jinala, Jinal, General, General. A song named Jinala, Jinal, General, General. I want to tell you, you know. To be honest with you, um, I could have made a lot more hits, you know. Yeah, because even like the Punani rhythm and, 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 and the, the Chinatown rhythm and a lot yeah. more rhythm that Jamie put out back then. Uh, let, 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 let me tell you what, what, what actually... I start, I start like get frustrated over the music business after a while, you know. In a short space of time, you know. This is about 80, 87, 88. It's like, it's like, I'm like, 
Back then, you know, music was selling like, wow! When people say music are number one and I like, no, you know, because this is how 